when, when women leave you, for whatever reason, they go out there, they experience things. They'll be like, oh, I miss you. It's not even that they miss you. It's just that, A, I want to see if you're stupid. Or, you know, I want to see if I can still control you. Or, B, I couldn't replace you. Or, I'm tired of these guys are treating me like a sl I wanted to be a sl but I don't want to be a sl forever. So, can you treat me like the queen that you used to treat me? This is why they come back to you. It ain't got nothing to do with contact. I gave her space and all that. And I want to drill that in your head. When a woman leave you, man, it's better to build new relationships than to try to mend broken ones. I'll say that to you. I highly suggest that you walk away from this chick. That's a fact. When you and your girl break up and y'all start seeing other people, and let's say y'all get back together, you going to start imagining how the next man had your woman bent over calling him daddy. It's going to be in the back of your mind. But at some point in time, you going to start asking questions. You going to start asking questions for answers that you don't want to hear. Now, you wouldn't have that problem if you were just left her alone. Hey, man, did you kill Delana Powell? God, I didn't. You didn't do it? I didn't do it. Do you know Delana? No, I know her. Not personally. You think it's it? And bang, say, the person that did, he know what he did. It's wrong that he doing this. You know what you think about what it? What happened that night? What happened that night? I ain't gonna say too much on the news. That, that, that I ain't funny news to hell. But you know something, right? Uh, I, know, that, I know what happened. You know what happened? I know what happened. This man said, I'm not going to say too much on the news, then proceeded to say, I know what happened. Bro, you snitching on national TV. They ain't even pulled the McDonald's out yet. If you're going to do that, at least get some food out the situation. So you know who did it? Yeah, I know who did it. Anything to show your family? So you're not going to say my family. I love, I, love, I love my family. Shout out to my baby mama, bro. I'm going to be home sometime soon. Free me. And how old are you? Because they're free me. So you know who did yeah, it, but you're not going to say who did it? No, I'm going to say who did it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to say who did it, man. I'm going to go all the way through and through. Do you have anything to say to her family? Delana's family? Sally, I, I apologize. I apologize. It wasn't meant for her. I ain't kill your daughter. Were you there when it happened? I was there, but I ain't killed her. So you were there? God damn, bro. And you're not going to say who did it? The other person did The guy that's about to walk out after you? Yep. Why'd you do oh! it? Oh! Why'd he do it? Did you know she had a daughter? He knew it. He knew it? He did. He did it. What was the reason for it? I don't know. He was supposed to just be a robbery. He didn't solve the whole case. <laughs> he didn't solve the whole case for them. Whoever put that window down is a savage. You gotta be careful who you do crimes with. Rules of engagement. You know, if you chose that particular life you have to abide by the rules of that particular life and part of the rules of that particular life is no snitching i ain't no street dude i ain't none of that now i didn't dibble dabbled you know i was a little lost youth at one point in time i quickly realized that that life was not for me but one thing i know for sure if you do the crime be prepared to do the time hey you look awesome kelsey. what's your name kelsey kelsey what are you calling me? I'm filming for YouTube. I want to ask for you Egypt? this. No, YouTube. Oh. So my question is, what's the best way for a guy to get your attention? Hey, hold on. Hear me out, fellas. Before we... I don't, how long is this clip? It's something about her. I don't know what it is, but it's something about her that I think is very attractive. I can't quite put my hands on it. Maybe y'all could tell me what it is. It's just something about her, bro. No. Tell me. Come on. To not give it, to like just ignore you? Does that work? You look somewhat like so interesting though. I'd love to get to know more about you. Okay, well, Let's stay in I'm touch though. <laughs> when are you going to be back? Um, I'm here all the time. You know what I'm How can you stay in touch? Um, just yeah, let me just give my information. It might, it might be the subtle confidence. I think it's the subtle confidence. Um, it's just I feel like when people like are so annoying and like you know pester you and it turns you off. Wow. So just in case you didn't hear what he asked, her, he asked her, "What is the best way for a guy to get your attention?" 
and her reply is to not give it. Believe it or not, that actually works. I feel as though, and ladies, you, you can correct me. I honestly feel as though if a woman knows that she has you, she's not interested anymore. When, it, when you're dealing with women who are accustomed to dudes just drooling over them and just be creepy and always just giving them what they want, when they come across a man who's not as thirsty and does not fall into the normal category of dudes that they're used to, those guys, their attraction level goes way up. Now she gotta have you. What are we doing here, guys? Huh. Pretty good to me. Oh, yeah. Hey, I'm video recording you, buddy. Video recording you, and you got prison time, not me. Hey, Charlene, all I'm going to say is, are you coming with me, or are you staying with this guy? What? Pick or choose right now. And because, you know what? We've screwed the last two nights. She sucked my, and professed to me that she's going to, loves me and wants to be with me forever, and I have it on audio. I love how he still says, are you coming with me? Bro, go home. Bro, you just caught her with another dude. Go home, for real, for real, bro. Like, what are you doing? All right, let's say she left with you. You're not going to be able to look at her the same. You're not going to be able to trust her. You're going to be wanting to read her text messages. You're going to be, anytime she's not in your presence, you're going to think she with him. Bro, it's over with. Go home. You trying to be in a contest with this man? Oh, she loves me more. Yo, what the f Heather, what the f It's not. Why are you in the room? You have work today. My sister called me about a new car at the house. What Ryan, the f Ryan, it's, it's not what it looks like. I promise. What the f does it look like? It looks like you're a f you're That's what the f it what? looks like. Are you kidding me? I'm the yeah, you won't even touch me. You said you had the postpartum depression. You know she just had a new baby child? Do you know that? Not nah, in it. You see? Kyle. Kyle. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Kyle. Hold on now, Kyle. Hold on now, Kyle. Kyle said I'm not in it. You what? You was just in it, Kyle. You was just in it, Kyle. I can't. Man said I'm not, I'm, I'm not in it. I'm not in it. The problem started because you was in it. God, this is fucking retarded. I swear, I swear to Calm God. Calm the down, okay? No, Calm no. Calm down. Don't do anything stupid. Well, he finna whoop Kyle ass. Ooh, Kyle up out of there. Out of there. Out of there. Ooh! Nah. Nah. It's that it's that at least that? I think this is every man's worst nightmare. Now, some of y'all may disagree because some of y'all be too extra macho and too alpha, but imagine you coming from a hard day's work and you catch your woman getting slayed. In this particular situation, they were done. This the post nut situation, okay? But I've seen other videos where, where dude was walking up the stairs and you heard the clappage going on. Or could you imagine walking in your house and hearing somebody going balls deep in your woman? Oh my God. If you make it out that situation without going to jail, bro, you are a superhero. Now again, I know some of y'all are extra tough and extra alpha and would say, I'm not going to prison over no woman. And you shouldn't. You shouldn't want to. You should think your way out of that situation. But we're all human beings. When the right buttons are pressed, we're all subjected to having a crash out there. And I feel as though hearing somebody, hearing somebody giving your woman that dirty Harry, I, I feel as though them the type of buttons that, that could, you know what I'm saying, lead to a crash out. Like, if you found your woman was cheating and you seen some text messages, you might be able to... It has already been done. He already took her to the concert and he already... But, if you walk in on that... God bless you. I'm from New York. Of course we travel in any weather to get hunked on. I'm from New York. Facts. Of course we don't care about other celebrities because we are the celebrities. Facts. Yo, from New York, of course we don't feel like we gotta pay for anything. 
doing? Hold on, I gotta pause it right there. Yo, first off, Habibi not going for that. Habibis be hood too. Don't sleep. Habibi's son grew up in the hood just like you. Don't sleep. I'm just throwing that out there. So you might be able to get away with that stealing for that day, but you can't go back to the store because he gonna sick his son on you. <laughs> That's a fact. I'm from New York. Of course I don't want to buy none of this shit. What is that? What store is that? Is that Vim's? I'm from Vim's? New York. Of course I don't want to buy none of this shit. What is that? What store is that? Is that I'm Vim's? Facts. I'm from New York City. When you fall, you stay right there so you can catch that lawsuit. Even more facts. Even, even bigger facts. When it snow, you know what time it is, bro. When it snow, you got to be out there with that shovel before the snow finish. Because you know who coming. Somebody might slip and fall, and now you, you got a lawsuit on your hands. You got to make sure you throw that salt out there. You got to get right. She, she right. She right. I'm from New York, but when you slip and fall, you got to, you going to stay there and do your best Denzel impression. Jennifer. Jenny, Jen. Jennifer! I want it to be known that I called the block. I called said block. They said they haven't seen you in 80 years, okay? You you gotta hang it up. The Yo, before she continue with the with the Jennifer Lopez sl slander. Before she continues with the Jennifer Lopez slander, bro, I want to say this. This young lady is my spirit animal. It might sound crazy, but... I've seen a few videos that she have made, bro. I like I I connect with her. I vibe with her, bro. You feel what I'm saying? Hold on now. I'm married. Don't get no ideas. I ain't throwing nothing out there. But I vibe with her, bro. Like she passed the vibe check to me. I don't know if any of y'all know who she is. I don't even really know who she is, but she passed the vibe check. Wait a minute. I ain't even realized them things was out there like that. The, the block is tired. The block is fed up. You know what I'm saying? That's what they tell me. That's what they tell me. I, I, I just I just passed the message along, okay? They haven't seen you really, really, really starting to get me tight for real as a fellow Bronx native. Like, I was not moved at all by that performance. You talking about, I love when my hair is like this crazy and wow, reminds me of running up and down the block. You can hang that shit right up. <laughs> you can hang that shit right up. What are you talking about? You, I, only, I only see you push the Bronx to benefit you, to make some money off of it. That's the only time I see you bring up the problem. Me and my homegirls, not gonna hold you. We not feeling it, mamas. We not at all. We don't need nobody fake rocking with us. I can tell you that much. We good all day. <clears throat> we don't need nobody. We don't need no fake love, no fake clout. Ain't nobody seen you on the block in years unless it's to get some money. You don't be in the hood on some chill shit. Nobody even knows you anymore. Like, what are you? She really lost me with the crazy hair though, because what the Bronx or the block gotta do with a, a little hairbrush, a little edge control? Don't don't piss me off for real. Like, what are you what are you saying? Hey, look. So the last time I reacted to a, a video, I'm not gonna comment on it, cause damn, I'm gonna look two faced it, cause I rock with her. So I'm not. I'm just not say nothing. You feel what I'm saying? But her, yo, she funny as hell, son. When they did the Keith Lee, she did something on Keith Lee. When Keith Lee took his ass to New York and had a, 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 a salmon, bro, I don't even know what the hell he had, bro. A salmon chopped cheese or something to that extent. I, and she came out and said what she said. Everything she said I was feeling is a pause. Whoa. Whoa. It's like she took the words right up out of my mouth. Everything she said I was feeling, I don't know. Them words don't go together. I don't like that. 